Waking Up With Charm, Grammy Crochet, and today is January 7th. Uh, it is quarter to one at the time that I'm starting this video, so I hope that I can get it done in, in a decent amount of time. Um, thanks for joining me. I'm in the dining room today because uh, in yesterday's video I said I wanted to make Roy a new hat. This is the brown hat with the brown cotton yarn that he loves. This is his, like he wears this and it his head is bigger than mine and it only comes to like the top of his ears but he wears his hat all the time and I made it you know I wanted it to be that you don't fold it up um, and I think it was about 90 rows and I did it on my Centro uh, knitting machine now the thing is with uh, my Centro the the counter thing doesn't always work so I have a finger you know that you can just click the finger um, but I don't always do that real accurately either. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, and I have a cordless screwdriver that I will, you know, I should have probably charged um, prior to doing this. Uh, it's a it's a Bauer, and it probably won't last real long, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, and I so I have everything set up, and I'll go over that in a minute. Um, but I'll talk about the yarn. So I am using. When I bought this brown, I also bought two skeins of red. And I didn't have any idea how far the yarn would go. Um, but I wanted to make him that hat out of cotton. I wanted to use my knitting machine because uh, it was newer, newer to me at the time. And so I w wanted to play with it. Um, but I wanted to make him a hat out of cotton for the summer. Um, he shaves his head real... He's got a little bit of hair. Um, but he shaves it real short. And he doesn't have a lot of it up here. Um, so he, you know, we want to protect him from the sun. So <clears throat> they had this cotton hand dyed, I guess, yarn um, on sale. It's uh, Cotton Supreme DK Sea Spray from Universal Yarns. So I guess I'm going to say I probably got this. Isn't that a Hirschner's company? It works with Hirschner's. Um, and let's see, uh, it's 100% cotton, three and a half ounces, 100 grams, 230 yards, 210 meters. Um, it says you can wash it and dry it and iron it. Um, and it's made in Turkey. And the color is called red. So, very good. Uh, my husband does like the color red. I love this red. It's nice and bright, and I love the, you know, marl look to it. And the marl look to the brown is also very good. It won't take a whole lot. Um, I had two skeins of the brown, and I have probably half of one left. Now, I'm going to do this. I, like I said, I think I did 90 rounds of the brown um, with my slightly inaccurate counting method. Uh, and I want this one to be longer. And it is uh, cinched at the top and doubled, you know, um, folded in half and pulled all together. And and I do the method with this, which there's videos on YouTube all over the place, uh, how to start with the waist method. And what I'm using for my waist method is just this ice yarn left over because it's also, it's a three weight. Uh, did I tell you what the weight of this is? Did it tell me what the weight of this is? Oh, it says it's a DK, so it's a three weight. <laughs> I thought they were the same weight. Um, and I'm telling you what, this is working up really nicely in my knitting machine. So I might pull out the little knitting machine and see if I can't use the rest of this. Um, because I, got, I didn't, I don't even know if I told you, but I got a little knitting machine for Christmas. I had asked for it, it was on my wish list. And, um, I think I might try to make a sweater for the puppy. Um, just, I don't know how big a round it's going to be, um, but this would be, it's the right color because he's it's a boy and this is blue and they're just a little bit and he's a teeny tiny, he's a toy chihuahua that my grandkids are getting. Um, I think they're picking him up on the 20th. Um, and it's cold here in Northern Ohio and he's going to need sweaters. Uh, so I thought I might use this Lion brand as I see it on the inside here. You can see it on the inside of the Centro. 
um, you can see, I think it would be a cute little sweater uh, knitted up for the puppy. Um, I don't really quite know how to make a sweater for a puppy, but I think what I will do is just crochet a, or knit a little tube a couple inches long and see how big a round that comes out on the 20, I think it's a 22 needle machine. Might be way too big, but it might be, I, I, we'll see how it works. <laughs> um, and he, maybe he'll grow into it if it's too big. Uh, and then just crochet a ribbed neckline so that his feet can go between the, the tubed body and a neckline. Um, it's going to be a learning experience on knitting something that, on knitting, you know, to, to make the, that's a whole nother video. Anyway, I have got myself set up here with my knitting machine and I put the yarn on the Swift. Um, my Swift is this one. And I think it came, I, I'm not saying that, so that first word. Um, <clears throat> this game holder. And I think I got this, my husband bought it for me, and it came with um, the Swift and a yarn, a ball winder. Um, and so now I have two ball winders, which works out well because one is bigger than the other. Um, and you can work them together. So, uh, friends have told me that um, I can, oh, I got a knot here. Friends have told me that I can work the Centro right from the Swift. I don't have to cake it up and then put it on here. So we're going to try that. Uh, and um, we're going to see how it goes. So I'm going to put this through here. And... I'm going to cut, no, I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to take it off. Let's see. Let's do a couple of stitches with both threads, the waist and the knot waist. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to take the waist yarn out and just leave the regular thread and I'm going to throw the waist yarn in the center here um, let's just oh, 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 oh. come on get in there okay go in the groove there we go there we go um I really do enjoy using my knitting machine and I hope this isn't going to be an issue here. I just am not real good at it. I don't have a lot of experience. I don't know how to, I don't know why it's being so stiff. Um, stick better to the table would be good. So I'm going to hand crank for a few rounds. And it's being kind of stiff. And I just can't figure it out. I don't know if I put this thing on wrong. I don't know what the story is. Yeah, it must have to do with being this. Maybe I put it on backwards on the Swift. I don't know. I haven't kicked up a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, but it seems like that might be an issue. But I like to do a couple of rounds uh, before I add the, the thing. Yeah. I'm going to have to probably play with it a little bit. Um, and I will fast forward the majority of this, or not even film, because we really care about that. Um, and I will show you the hat when it's done, be it today or in tomorrow's video. But we will have a completed hat and maybe more at the end of the day. Um, and so for today's video for the birthday giveaway, again, another $25 gift card. 
what you're going to need to do is somewhere in your comment, if you want to enter, you're going to need to say the word hat. Um, and you can, you know, just easily wish me luck if this hat turns out. <laughs> uh, and the drawing will be tomorrow. So I hope to get this done real soon so I can show it to you and get this video up in a decent amount of time. But um, we'll see how that goes. There will be a disclaimer video attached to this um, at the end of my chatting, uh, be it with or without another hat. <laughs> um, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the giveaway uh, drawings. Bye. Well, hi everyone, I'm back. Um, I didn't check the time. But the hat is done, minus, I have to sew on an end. Um, but I did want to show it to you. So it's done. It fits him just the way he wants it. I will put two pictures. Oh, here. And it's going to be way big on me. Um, but I did take a couple of pictures of him. For me, it's a slouchy. Uh, but it was 125 rows. Did not take that long. Um, honey, what time is it? Roy, what time is it? 2.32. It's 2. Yeah. It's 2.30, so it took me under two hours, and a good part of it was taking the waste yarn off. I probably spent a half an hour doing that. Uh, so it looks good, and I'll put a couple of pictures of Roy in his hat. Uh, he's going to love wearing this, and I'm just going to sew those in, but I'm going to get this video uploaded for you. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the giveaway drawings. Birthday winner drawings. Here we go. Bye. Hi, everyone. So if you're watching this, it's because you want to know the terms and conditions and rules and regulations and all that stuff of entering my video, my giveaways. Um, I think doing this little video clip is going to be really helpful and resourceful <laughs> over... Um, <clears throat> Maybe the lifetime of my channel, I might just use the same thing over and over again. So I'm going to try to make it kind of generic, but all-inclusive. Uh, and all of my giveaways are for, being that all of my giveaways are an appreciation of my subscribers, you have to be subscribed. Um, that's pretty plain and simple. You have to make a comment because I will be using a random comment picker. If the comment, uh, sometimes it might be just make a comment of any kind of comment. Sometimes it will be, uh, and probably most of the time, a specific word, phrase, something. Um, so you have to put that in there because by making the comment, that means that you've uh, watched the video, this video right here, this video clip, um, and you're agreeing to all the terms and conditions. Um, even if you didn't watch the video and you make the comment, you're agreeing to all the terms and conditions without knowing what they are. Up to you. Uh, and I try to make it pretty simple. Um, because there's lots of legal mumbo jumbo, you're agreeing to all that stuff. Uh, you're agreeing to any to pay any duties, taxes that might be incurred. Um, I'm agreeing to provide the gift and the confirmation of it being sent, be it an electronic gift and you get uh, I'll send you the confirmation that I've paid for it and it's coming your way or a tracking number if it is like a physical I'm gonna send you the Sam McGroomy kind of thing um, <clears throat> you will need to uh, again be subscribed make a comment for the random comment picker if your name is drawn you will need to contact me at my email address which is charmedgrammy at gmail.com charmedgrammycrochet at gmail.com it'll be listed uh, it's always listed in all of my uh, videos so you need to contact me I may say oh you need to change the comment in that video you might you know something so that I know that it's you and not somebody scamming to be you particularly because it's did most of my giveaways are going to be digital just because uh, shipping is very expensive. Um, so as I said, you will be agreeing to paying any taxes, duties, whatever it takes to get it to your country. Uh, being electronic really does allow me to be able to do giveaways 
uh, worldwide for the most part if they will take US dollars because all my giveaways will be in US dollars um, so if your state local federal whatever governments uh, require any type of taxes be paid uh, any and whatever legal stuff they require you are responsible for that I am responsible for sending you the gift uh, the prize and giving you a tracking number or confirmation you are responsible for everything else I'm to be held harmless of anything um, and, and that's any and all legal stuff from any government agency from any country any state any city any province any anything uh, and YouTube and its subsidiaries or sister companies or brother companies or anybody anything anybody that can impose any kind of rule or regulation you're agreeing to to doing what they require uh, and I'm agreeing to sending you the prize so that pretty much makes it uh, as simple as I can uh, good luck in any of the drawings I hope you enjoy this uh, giveaway for whatever giveaway you're uh, you're participating in I hope you enjoy it and good luck Bye.